Hello guys, Fit the IT guy here, and in this video we will take a look at two-factor authentication. So on my app that I have been building, I have added a security element here. So if you click here, this page will open up, and it will help you to set up the two-FA authentication on your app. So let me first discuss what is two-factor authentication. So on any website that we use, there is always a threat that somebody might have your username and password and they can gain access to your account. Uh, what two-factor authentication does is add an additional layer of security on top of the username and password mechanism where you would have to download an app uh, from Google Play Store on your Android or iOS uh, mobile device called an authenticator app. Uh, I suggest you download the official one from Google which will look something like this. So if I for Android, if I search this, then this is the app, and uh, this is how it looks on your mobile app. So when you open the app, you will have the heading, and you will have a six-digit key, which expires in thirty seconds, and it refreshes uh, every thirty seconds. So you would have to open the mobile app and uh, enter the six-digit number that you see here um, onto the website to gain access to your account. So if you are using the app that I have been building, then on the left side you will see security. And if you click here, then you will see this two-factor authentication page, which will um, ask you to scan this QR code from your Google Authenticator app. So what you would do is take your mobile phone and install the Authenticator app on it. Then click on the plus icon, which is on the bottom right here. And it will ask you to scan a QR code and you will scan this right here. So it will create an entry on your app uh, with the title Laravel Shopify app demo and it will give you a six digit number which will keep refreshing itself every 30 seconds. So then you would have to enter the pin from the Google Authenticator app here and you have to click enable to FA. Now, all the implementations that I have been following is from this website right here, shouts.dev, uh, where, where this guy has uh, step by step, he has dictated how to use the authentication package into our Laravel app. So this Pragma Rx uh, is the package that we are using, which is Google 2 FA Laravel. But uh, along with that, we are also using some additional packages. So if you check the composer JSON, then you will see that I'm using Pragma, Pragma Rx Google 2 FA, then Google 2 FA Laravel, and then Google 2 FA QR code. So these three packages are working together to provide this functionality. Now, one thing I should note here is uh, you would have to have the access for Imagic library. So if you go to this website, uh, I will provide the link in the description box. They have specifically mentioned how to install image, image magic PHP extension on Windows. And this is a separate article which will take some time for you to install the image magic extension. And you would have to also configure your uh, XAMPP or Laragon installation that you have. Only then it will start working. So then uh, you can uh, authenticate by scanning this QR code and entering the pin here. So it will enable 2FA. So let's do that quickly. Yeah, so I have taken off the video for this part because I use my mobile phone as my webcam. So I have scanned the QR code and now I'm going to enter the authenticator code here, which would be 565435. So it, it should has to match uh, whatever it shows in your phone. And I clicked enable 2FA. Okay, I think it says invalid. So let me try again. 565. Yeah, so now it is enabled successfully. So I would have to enter the one time password one more time. Which would be now it changed 309. 508 and if I click authenticate then fine now the two-factor authentication is now enabled for me and if I want to disable it then I would have to provide my account password and click disable 2FA which in this case would be 123456 and I can click disable 2FA which will deactivate the 2FA feature so let me show you how it works so if I click sign out and now if I click uh, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, if I log in, then it tells me that I would have to enter the Google Authenticator app. Now this is the dashboard. Now if I change this to Shopify slash 
customer. If I manually hit another URL, then it still says that I would have to enter this. So it will keep overriding it. Any kind of uh, profile. Okay, I'm sorry. So profile page doesn't exist anyway. So th this uh, will keep overriding it. So let me enter the pin once again. Two one zero. So if I authenticate this, now I can access my page. So for this session, now I can use it. So let me click customers. Yeah, so all my customers are now here. And yeah, let's go. This is the implementation part. So what you need to do is pull the main branch onto your system and you can just run composer uh, install and uh, download the image mic extension how they have said here and uh, run php artisan migrate because there are some tables that have to be created so if you check the database migration you would see this table right here login securities which is maintained by the package so you have the user id you have the enable or not and you have the secret right so let's look into the implementation for a little while so yeah so first of all we have a controller which is the login security controller which takes the authenticated user and uh, if the login security exists which is a relationship in the user model so you can check it in the user model right here so login security has one login security class and login security belongs to user class so they are connected uh, using this relationship and uh, after that we are using the pragma rx uh, google 2 fa package here and we are getting an inline qr code which was the one uh, you saw before that we scanned so this is the name that will show up uh, feel free to change this yeah so after that uh, there's a generate 2 fa secret function here we are not uh, currently using that then the enable 2FA function, what it does, it just takes the 2FA right here. It verifies the key that was passed and uh, then it updates it and then it redirects uh, saying 2FA is enabled successfully. And for disable, then it will check your password that, you, that has uh, been forwarded from the front end with the auth user password. And uh, if it doesn't match, then it will return back. Otherwise, it will uh, just to enable equal to zero and it will save it and it will redirect back saying 2FA is now disabled. After that, uh, you will see that in the web.php for the routes, I have protected uh, the routes with the 2FA middleware right here. So on the top of uh, these dashboard and the billing routes and the Shopify, everything, uh, products, consumers and orders, everything is uh, protected by the 2FA. But these routes are outside because uh, I don't want uh, these routes to clash. You, you can put this, uh, put these routes inside this um, group if you want. Yeah. Now the middleware, the middleware is actually using the IOC container. So it will take the class uh, Google 2 f authentication authenticator class and it will inject it into the IOC container that Laravel has and it calls the boot method on it and if it is authenticated then there's a sidebar key that I'm taking uh, this function you can find out in auth user model so let me show you yeah so it returns a simple string id with the show sidebar so let me go back here yeah so i will put this as true which means that uh, the sidebar this a side element should be shown and if it isn't then just make it false and uh, so what happens is um if, if you are not authenticated by the six digit pin then the sidebar wouldn't even show up and it will keep redirecting itself back uh, to the verify otp screen so let me show you this so there's a support uh, folder here in which there is a class uh, basically it is the same code uh, that they have mentioned here i just copied it and pasted it yeah 
so if login security doesn't exist it will just return itself true otherwise there is this uh, expression that they have written and uh, the secret key it will get the otp secret column uh, and it will return it just two things so this is what gets injected into the ioc container which will ensure that uh, you will not be shown any kind of view unless you are authenticated with the six digit pin from the authenticator app so let me close this out yeah so technically we are authenticated in this instance but let me go back to security and if i type in one two three four five six and if i click disable then the 2ff is now disabled and now i have an option to scan the qr code again and uh, put in the authenticator code and enable it once more so now let me sign out and i will show you one more time set yeah so now without uh, authenticating ourselves with the 2fa flow we are now logged in into the account so this is how the flow has been integrated into the app so feel free to pull the main branch and uh, check it out let me know if you have any issues i'll be happy to help you out uh, my name is Sid, the IT guy and I'll see you next time. Thank you.